Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast, your trusted source for HIV testing and research updates, with access to over 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. For more information, check the link in the description below or the bio section of our channel. In today's episode, we're diving into some groundbreaking news. German researchers have discovered a highly effective antibody that could reshape the future of HIV treatment and prevention. This antibody, called O4A06, has shown remarkable results, blocking HIV from entering human cells and neutralizing nearly 98% of all HIV variants tested so far. Could this be the next major step toward an HIV cure or long-term protection? Let's find out together! And before we begin, if you or someone you know is looking for quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing anywhere in the United States, visit HIVRNATestGuide.com. Now, let's explore how this incredible discovery could revolutionize HIV research and what it means for millions around the world. Today, we're talking about something that could be a massive game changer in the fight against HIV. Researchers over in Germany have pinpointed a single, incredibly powerful antibody. And honestly, the entire scientific community is buzzing about it. So what is it? How does it work? And is it really the new weapon we've been waiting for? To really get why this discovery matters so much, we have to take a step back and look at the sheer scale of the HIV epidemic. Just think about this number for a second. 44 million. That's how many lives have been lost to AIDS-related illnesses since the virus was first identified. It's truly one of the most devastating health crises in modern history. And you know, while we've made some absolutely incredible progress with treatments, this fight is far from over. Just in the last year, we lost another 630,000 people. That number is a stark reminder of why the search for new and better tools to fight this virus is still so incredibly urgent. And that really sets the stage perfectly for our first section, the unfinished fight. These numbers aren't just statistics, they're the motivation behind the science we're about to explore. Which brings us right to section two, a breakthrough antibody. We're gonna go inside the lab that made this discovery and see what all the excitement's about. So our story starts with a team at the University Hospital of Cologne, led by a researcher named Florian Klein. They did something really clever. They focused on a small group of people, just 32 individuals living with HIV whose bodies were kind of remarkably putting up a really strong immune fight all on their own. The team then took on this huge task of analyzing their blood, testing more than 800 different antibodies to see if they could find the secret to their success. And after sifting through all of that data, one just jumped out. It was given the, you know, very clinical sounding name 04 underscore A06. But this single antibody was different it showed way more promise than any of the others. So what's the big deal? What makes this one so special? Well, that brings us to section three, how O4 underscore A06 works. Let's dig into the science here. Okay, this is really the brilliant part. Think of the HIV virus like it has a special key. That's its envelope protein. It uses that key to unlock and get inside our body cells. What this antibody, O4 underscore A06 does is it comes in and latches right onto that key. It essentially gums up the lock. The virus is physically blocked from getting in, and now, since it's neutralized and just floating around, the rest of our immune system can spot it and get rid of it. Now, the lead researcher himself, Florian Klein, points out the biggest challenge with HIV. The virus is always changing, always mutating, so there are tons of different versions or keys out there. A good treatment has to work on as many of them as possible. So how did O4 underscore A06 do against that diversity? Well, the results were frankly stunning. They threw almost 340 different variants of HIV at this antibody, and it neutralized 98% of them, 98%. That is what scientists call broadly neutralizing. And let me tell you, that is the holy grail in this kind of research. It's incredibly rare and unbelievably powerful. An antibody this potent opens up some really exciting doors. So let's dive into those in section four, treatment and prevention. Okay, so this is a really crucial point. This antibody could have a two-pronged attack. For people already living with HIV, it could be a powerful new treatment, stopping the virus in its tracks and helping the body fight back. But it could also be used for prevention. For people who are HIV negative, it could act like a shield, intercepting the virus before an infection can even start. 
In this prevention idea, it has a specific name, passive immunization. Now, this is different from a regular vaccine. A vaccine teaches your body how to make its own antibodies. Passive immunization is more like you're just given the finished product, the ready-made antibodies. It's like getting a temporary but very powerful bodyguard. So let's compare this to what we have now for prevention. You've probably heard of PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. Right now, that means taking a pill every single day or with some newer drugs, getting an injection every couple of months. The real hope with an antibody as potent as O4 underscore A06 is that you might only need an injection twice a year, just twice. That would make prevention so much simpler for so many people. Okay, so this all sounds amazing, I know, but we need to ground ourselves in reality for a minute. And that brings us to our last section, what happens next? And look, it's not just us getting excited. Independent experts are really paying attention. Alexander Trikwila, a top virologist who wasn't even involved in the study, called it extraordinarily potent. That's high praise, and it shows just how much this antibody stands out from the pack. But here's the reality check. Another expert, Christoph Spinner, reminds us that what works in a lab dish doesn't automatically work in a real live person. This is an incredible first step for sure, but it is just that, the first step. And this slide really lays out the long road ahead. We are right here at stage one, the lab data. From here, there have to be more studies to figure out dosage and make sure it's safe. Then come the huge, expensive human clinical trials to prove it actually works. And only after all that can you even think about getting it approved. It's a journey that takes years, sometimes a decade or more. So we're left with this big, hopeful question. Is a lab discovery today going to be a lifesaver tomorrow? The discovery of O4A06 is a genuine moment of scientific hope. It's a testament to years of hard work, but whether this one amazing antibody can make that long, difficult journey from a lab in Germany to a clinic near you, well, that's the next chapter, and it's still waiting to be written.